Nicole here and today I want to share with you some of my most requested, most used, and best backdrops that I use for my photo booth business. Uh, I get this question a lot and we see it a lot in our Facebook group. If you haven't joined, I have it linked below. When you first start your photo booth business, it can feel like you need millions of options for your clients for backdrops and that's not necessarily true. I actually have found quite the opposite to be true where less is really more. Our clients want our recommendations because we're coming to them as the experts in the field. So they're going to really rely on our expert advice in providing the best backdrop for their event or wedding, whatever it may be. Um, so it's really up to us to suggest the, the best backdrop that's going to provide a backdrop right? That's going to make them and their guests look the best in the photos. I use several different kinds of backdrops. I use several different kinds of backdrop stands and I'm going to have everything linked below for you. Don't you worry. Uh, but today's video, I'm just going to share with you some recordings, some photos, some screenshots of some of the most used backdrops that I use and kind of what I recommend if you're just getting started in the business. So if you're buying a salsa photo booth or a guac photo booth from Photo Booth Supply Co, you will see there are several options within their packs. You can get like a starter pack, an essential pack, and usually that essential pack is going to include the Atlas stand with a double-sided backdrop included, which is great. Um, it's what I used and it's what I started with. I started with the essentials, um, the essentials package with the salsa and it included a marble kind of like a gray white marble and then a black marble backdrop and honestly those are really really great i use those a lot for uh, corporate clients um and the stand is like an aluminum frame and it comes all neatly packaged in a um in a black bag so if you are looking to like get out there fast then I would suggest that the essential, the essentials pack with the Atlas stand might be the best fit for you. That's where I was when I was first starting. I just wanted one purchase and I wanted to get everything. And so that's what I went with. One thing to consider though, when getting the Atlas stand is that it is 7.6 inches, I believe by eight. I'll put the exact dimensions below in the description. Um, but because of that, it isn't very easy to buy backdrops from other companies. You, um, the Atlas stands comes with extenders to make it a full eight by eight frame. And so then when you go to other photo booth um, backdrop companies, you then have to kind of get that specific sizing because not many have the 7.6 by eight sizing. If you don't go with the essentials that includes the backdrop, then I would highly recommend the backdrop stand from PB Backdrops. I am a huge fan of their company. Their customer service is absolutely excellent. And I've bought all of my double-sided pillow top style backdrops from them. And so now I wanna hop into exactly what my most requested backdrops are for pillow top style. And that's going to be the kind that goes over the aluminum frame and zips at the bottom is really super tight. And um, there's no creases, no wrinkles, anything like that. It's really sleek, really, really clean. Um, the number one requested that I have from in the pillow top style is called Golden Leaves. And that one goes super well with almost every single wedding I've ever been to because gold is usually incorporated in some way, shape or form in the design, whether it's the tablescapes, the decorations, anything like that, there's usually always going to be some sort of element of gold. So you really can't go wrong with the golden leaves. Then also a lot of where I'm located in Florida, there are a lot of like rustic barn weddings. And so the other backdrop that I get requested a lot is the wood panel with lights. It simulates the idea of like hanging lights and in person it doesn't look 
that great. I'm not going to lie to you. Like it doesn't look that great in person, but in photos, it really does look like it has those beautiful lights. Um, it is a fan favorite. I gotta say it's not my favorite, but it doesn't matter because all that matters is that it's the client's favorite. And that does get requested quite often. I've done several weddings in kind of rustic barn areas where that has been the backdrop that's been most requested. When deciding to purchase pillow top backdrops, I really, it's really important that you consider who your ideal client is and what they are going to be looking for in a backdrop. Are they, are you doing a lot of weddings? Then having maybe like themed backdrops aren't going to be the best for you. I would probably stick to maybe the gold, silver, black, white, any of those classic kind of staple colors. Um, kind of similar to like what you would wear in a wardrobe. Think of that when you're picking your backdrop because you don't want your backdrop to be over stimulating or over shining what the guests are wearing. You want it to compliment. You want them to be the center of the attention, not the backdrop. And so tip, I typically prefer to have backdrops that are a little bit more classic that kind of blend in with the environment. Those are kind of my favorite backdrops to kind of choose. So my my top three are going to be golden leaves, um, the wood with the market lights, and then of course the white. White on white on white. Um, the all white front and back all white backdrop is an absolute necessity I would say if you are doing photo booths. Use it a ton for glam of course you need a white backdrop if you're going to be doing glam unless you do black glam which is also really beautiful. I love that but if you're going to be doing any kind of glam you absolutely need white but I've also had a lot of brides choose white because it matches it, it kind of blends in. It wasn't too loud. It wasn't too vibrant. They just wanted a plain white background. And it worked out really, really well because it also went with their white template. I highly recommend absolutely having a white, all white backdrop in your um, collection. So those are going to be my top three. If I'm ever going to uh, recommend any, it's going to be those three. And then I think either some sort of like, if you don't have the package from Salsa with the mar black marble, any sort of like all black or like marbled black, something that would be a little bit darker, more contrasty. Um, I think it would go really great for some weddings, but also really great for like some corporate clients. Moving on from pillow top backdrop style to sequin backdrops, I uh, absolutely recommend getting a gold sequin. You will use that all the time. I promise you, I've used that for Christmas parties. I've used that for weddings. I've used that for corporate events and corporate clients. It is, I've used it everywhere all the time. I use my, my sequins a lot and they are also so easy to set up. Um, I do have a backdrop stand that I'll recommend and leave below. It's an adjustable size, which I really love. Like I really love the sequin backdrops to have like the folds and ridges and things like that. I don't really like it to be all flat, um, but that's just my personal preference. So I really love having an adjustable frame that can go from four feet to 10 feet if I need to. Um, but the, the sequin backdrop gold is really, really great. Silver is also a really great option. Um, that's been requested a lot more for my Christmas parties with my corporate clients. And I've used it for a couple of wedding as well, weddings as well. Oh, one more, um, one more pillow top backdrop that I have used quite a bit has been the, um, the white florals. I think that's a really great alternative. If you don't want to invest thousands of dollars into a flower wall, having a white, the white orchid pillow top backdrop might be a really good option for you as well. Back to sequin backdrop. So I've got the gold. I really recommend the silver. And then I also recommend black. Um, my black sequin backdrop is actually from Amazon and it was super inexpensive. However, there are some negatives I do want to share about purchasing any kind of backdrop from Amazon. Um, first of all, the quality is not going to be great. I don't think you should ever expect very high quality from an Amazon backdrop. Um, the black sequin backdrop that I got from Amazon, I will link it down below for you just so you can have a look at it. 
Um, but it is incredibly see-through. It is completely see-through and it sheds a lot. And I have tried some like hacks, like putting hairspray on it and things like that. It just hasn't worked. It sheds. It's kind of just like something I just accept <laughs> at this point. Um, but what I do is I couple it with my blackout, my blackout backdrop. If you've heard me talk about my blackout backdrop before, it is an absolute essential part of anyone's kit, I would say. Like you have to get this, not only to save yourself when you're at an event and maybe you're placed in front of a window and you don't want a see-through backdrop, um, you hang it right over the, the Atlas stand or whatever aluminum frame you have and it will hang beautifully. And so what I do is I want that opaque. I don't want to see through my sequins at all. And so what I do is I simply clamp because the pillow top backdrop that I have, it has like a little lip to kind of hang over on the aluminum frame. It's not necessarily made to hang on a any kind of square frame. And so what I do is I just have clamps and clips that I always carry with me. And I will just clamp across the top um, on the back so you don't see the clamps, but I'll just attach my blackout to the back of my sequin backdrops. So it is completely opaque and you can't see through it. And it just, mm, it makes for such beautiful, beautiful photos because it's just so glittery and looks like liquid. It's a beautiful, I just love it. My black, my black, um, my black sequin has been requested a lot. And it's so funny because my my this actual sequin is super cheap the blackout isn't but together like a really great looking end product i have also really used a lot of rainbow sequin backdrop it's a really really fun uh fun one because it does kind of change colors with movement and depending on the kind of lighting that you're using it'll also change colors so that was really great i used that for a corporate event for easter because it had all of the like main bright colors and then i also used it for like a wedding where there were a lot of pastels involved um so it's a really great fun alternative to add to your arsenal if you have clientele that are kind of looking for something unique and different and maybe like gives it the effect of a shimmer wall without having the the hassle of setting up a shimmer wall if you know you know so another question that i get is there are sometimes these huge sales that go on with these backdrop companies and it can be so tempting to want to buy more and more and more and more and more designs, more designs, more designs. While I do understand the temptation, I do want you to think through, I do want you to understand that I have right now on my collection, I have 16, I think it's like maybe six double-sided pillow top backdrops and then um, a couple of sequin backdrops. Again, depending on your clientele, I wouldn't recommend purchasing a whole ton of variety. And here's why. So the amount of backdrop options that you offer your client is going to be completely dependent on your business model, your ideal, your ideal client, and what kind of service you want to provide. I'm pretty done buying drop backdrops right now. I feel like I have a really solid collection. I feel like my clients have a lot to choose from. And if I'm not able to find them something, if they're not able to find something that they really like within my collection, I am more than happy to look for something that would fit. I'd so much rather do that than have this hoard of backdrops that maybe never get used or get used maybe once in a while. So I'll close with this. If you are just starting out in the photo booth business, you do not have to have all the backdrops. You don't. You can start off with one or two. I would probably recommend if you get like the essentials pack with the salsa photo booth, um, you've got the black and you've got the white. Take some really great photos of that, demonstrating how you can switch it up, change it up, add a neon sign, make it look really cool. There's a lot of options and a lot of things that you can do with those two backdrops. But then I also recommend maybe adding in like a sequin backdrop to add some variety. And, and give your clients some options to choose from. But then as you kind of start to grow and kind of have a sense for who, you are, who your ideal client is, then start making purchasing decisions towards what that ideal client is looking for and asking for. Um, 
That way your dollars are spent conservatively and towards something that you know, hey, I'm probably going to use this again, or I'm probably going to work with this client again. Um, I would love to have this have this to offer to them. Or like my purchasing decision for my sequin backdrop was like, I knew if I'm getting the gold backdrop, I was like, I'm going to use this for a ton of weddings. And I sure did. I'm going to use this for um, some um, some gold and red kind of themed Christmas parties. And I sure did. And so there's, there's a lot of to consider when making purchasing decisions, but I would just highly recommend that you, um, start off with what you can. Don't feel like you have to spend a ton of money on backdrops as you begin, but as you grow, if you find that your clients are kind of leaning towards a direction, then yeah, absolutely provide them with that, um, with those options. There's also other things that you can do. Like you can incorporate like widgets within, um, within your website to kind of show your clients all of the options. But honestly, sincerely, what I've found is that giving your clients so many things to choose from, it's just so overwhelming to them. They already have so many decisions to make. They're thinking about the catering. They're thinking about the DJ. They're dealing with a whole lot of things and bombarding them with more decisions. It's just too much. The more you can simplify the process for your client, honestly, I think that will be the better experience. That is all I have for you today. As always, I'm going to leave everything down below for you to look through. Um, and if you have any questions about backdrops, please leave them down below. Make sure to join our Facebook community so we can get you connected with other photo boothers all around the world. Uh, it's such a great community and I hope that we can see you there. Catch you on the next one. Have a great day.